Welcome back to the show. 14 beautiful degrees to start off this day, and we continue our series on how to get kids into sports. Today, we tackle football with the help of Randy Chevrier, who is a former Calgary Stampeder. You also have a couple of kids in this yes. sport. Good morning to you. Well, good morning to you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's always great to see you. And, uh, you know, I think parents are prepping their kids for activities they might want to pursue. There is a bit of an intimidation factor when it comes to football. Absolutely. I know a lot of people are scared about football. They're so, I mean, it's a tackle, it's a contact sport. Uh, but, you know, I want to set some people's minds at ease. First of all, I have two of my own boys in football, and yeah. I've obviously played football for the last 15 years. Uh, football is getting better. Football is evolving, and because of all the awareness with concussions and that, people worry. But I just want to show you something. If you grab this helmet here, this is a helmet that I wore for the last, I would say, six years with the Stampede. So if you can see inside there, there's a uh, nice lining, it's protective, it's soft, it's cushy. Yeah. Versus what I wore about 10 years ago when I played, when I started with the Stampeders. And you can see this is so hard and um, it, it's, it doesn't Getting really Getting knocked around me. and that doesn't feel Isn't good. Isn't fun. So helmet technology has improved over the last 10, 15 years. And this is what the kids are wearing these days. So if you see here, I mean, these helmets are so padded and so um, complete that the kids ha are really safe in there. Um, beyond the helmet technology, uh, coaching has improved. So the level of coaching has improved. And uh, in fact, uh, the Calgary or the Alberta, uh, Football Alberta, has mandated that every head coach uh, across the league by the end of the year will be certified in a safe contact course. Okay. Uh, so everyone's going through that. So the kids are being put in safer positions. And I truly believe uh, that football is, is a great alternative for parents. Like I said, I put my own kids in it. Okay. Now, when does the contact begin? At what age? It starts as early as uh, the Adam level, which is 8 to 10 year old. So I have two Two of my boys in the Adam, and uh, the contact starts there. It's full tackle, full gear. I brought some of the gear to show you uh, yeah. what they use. Okay. Uh, so obviously we start with the helmet, most important piece. It's not a weapon. So when we teach our kids uh, to tackle, the helmet is on the side of the contact, but it does protect them. They need that protection because if they do get a head hit, uh, this will will uh, take care of them. So yeah. the helmet is the most important. Uh, then we have uh, the shoulder pads. Now, uh, the shoulder pads uh, vary by position, but mm -hmm. typically they're fitted by uh, the coaches, parents, and uh, some teams have equipment managers to give them the right pair of shoulders that will protect their shoulders yeah. and protect their, their, uh, their chest, because that's where a lot of the contact comes, shoulders and chest. Okay. Um, so depending on the program, are you investing in the equipment, or is the, the club providing you with equipment? That's the great thing about football. They provide everything. They provide the helmet, the pads. They provide all the uh, leg pads, so you've got all your shin, knee, or not your shin, excuse me, your thigh, uh, butt pads, they call them. So yeah. these, these are the butt pads right here. It's easy to put on. It's just like an Under Armour. Yeah. And then they got their pants. The only thing that uh, we suggest buying is a decent pair of cleats for your kids. And, I mean, you don't have to go break the bank. These are my sons. They're little tiny shoes. Um, Cute. So just a pair of cleats because we play a lot on grass fields or even uh, down at shoulder ice. All the games are actually at shoulder ice. Yeah. And a good pair of gloves. Uh, the reason we say a good pair of gloves is not because they're going to catch footballs like uh, Odell Beckham Jr., mm -hmm. but it just protects their fingers. A lot of times they jam their fingers and they get scratched up, and you, you want the kids to have fun. Uh, also, at the stores, they sell all these superhero-themed gloves, so, I mean, any, every kid wants to be Superman. So yeah, let's... You got, oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you want to oh, be Superman. Cool. So you so get these the Superman gloves together. or Batman or some kids like to be a bad guy. The Joker's there, too. But you get these, and it protects them. So um, it's really a package deal. And, and right now, football's starting. Uh, the Bantams and Pee Wees have started practicing across Calgary. But anybody that wants to go and try out, they'll still take a look at a kid and see if they can get on a team. Adams start next week, I believe. Yeah. Uh, you can go to the Calgary Bantam Football Association website, and they actually have a map. Uh, that you can click on what part of Calgary you're on, and it'll give you your club. You just got to click on the team section. Okay. Is it ever too late to start? No, never too late to start. In fact, I started playing football at the age of 18. Wow. Uh, I never touched the football, never watched the football game. I walked onto a field and I was using wrestling moves uh, to try and tackle <laughs> people. Uh, eventually, I learned and uh, translated into a semi uh, uh, reasonable, respectable career. Absolutely. You had a great career. Okay, yeah. we just have a few seconds left. You had a story to tell? Okay, anecdote. So it gets cold in the winter, it gets mm -hmm. really cold. So uh, by October, you want to make sure the kids are bundled up, wear proper gloves. You don't need tough guys at the young age, they want to have fun. But last uh, two years ago, we played football at McMahon or Jamboree. It snowed in September. Remember when all the trees yes. fell? So my coach, assistant coach, and I got the bright idea to get the kids diving in the snow before the game so they can, you know, get used to it. Well, by halftime, none of them want to play football anymore. Uh -oh. And I'm in the huddle with uh, one of my kids. He's like my, one of my favorite kids. He's like, coach, coach. And I'm trying to read the play. I'm like, I can't talk now. He's like, coach, coach. I'm like, I can't talk now, Liam. I've got to give the play. And he's like, coach. 
just want to let you know, if you put your hands down your pants, they stay warm. So that was uh, an Adam football story. And uh, when you have That's your kids. That's a kid, smart kid. Yeah, absolutely. And when you have your kids in football, you, you, you have so many stories like that and so many really gratifying moments. I think it's honestly, <laughs> it's the greatest sport oh. uh, for teamwork, for camaraderie, and, and really teaches kids uh, a little differently than maybe some of the other sports out there. Okay. Well, you've had great experience with it. Yeah. Thank you for Thanks. the story. Uh, you won't be contending with those kind of elements. No, no. hands down the pants today. Eddie. No, and it's interesting. And, uh, uh, you know, a side note to that story that's when Chevy started rolling with hand sanitizer as well <laughs> and passing that out as gear.